happens is you end up with way too much capacitance in the circuit. Your power factor changes to kVar capacitive. And what ends up happening with kVar capacitive is that you lose voltage control and you begin damaging the electronics in your home, meaning you'll start to see TVs, stereos, computers, all that stuff begin to fail. Okay? That's where we are. So the kilowatts, your real power, the actual demand and kilowatt hours that you're using, that you're built on, does not change. That's right, it does not change. So you do not see a reduction in your bill. Okay? And with that, we will end this part of the video. Okay? I have a horizontal line. The horizontal line is my kilowatts. That's my actual consumption. That, that doesn't change. The angle upwards, that is my KVA or my kilovolt amps. Um, that's the measurement I'd get if I measured amperage. The vertical line is my um, reactive energy inductive. Now, opposite of that reactive energy inductive is my reactive energy capacitive. So if I add capacitors, I reduce that angle um, on that upper slope. And that reduces the vector such that my current seems to reduce. However, it does not change the amount of actual energy or power in terms of kilowatts that I'm using. Now, what they do is they come out and they demonstrate before and after. They say, okay, here's our measurement of current before, and here's when we put the device in, and here's our measurement of current afterwards. Guess what? It doesn't work that way. Here's the formula. See what I mean? So, these devices are not very good as far as it's extra expenditure. It does nothing for your systems. In fact, one of the claims by one of the manufacturers is that you'll save the life of your equipment. That's not true. If these things are installed in your house and they're not installed properly, the problem with what's called a leading power factor. Right now, inductance causes a lagging power factor where your current goes up. If you have a leading power factor, say you have too much capacitance in the circuit, then you lose control of your voltage. Suddenly, you're beginning to have problems with electronics failing, TVs, computers, you name it. So, caution, buyer beware. Just because it's making the news, just because um, you see a lot of advertising for it, just because they claim things like UL ratings, UL ratings do not guarantee the function of a component. They just say that it won't catch fire and kill you. In any case, that's my warning for today. That's our blog for this week. Well, today at least. I'm sure I'll find something else. Have a great day. I'm going to have some more of my no fear. Thank you very much.